Hey guys, Landon Rich, uh, bringing you Metric Monday. Today, I, I was thinking of, uh, I was thinking back about uh, something that happens a lot of times in call centers, uh, and this isn't a knock on agents or anything like that, but you know, when agents, we wanna talk about call avoidance, right? Unfortunately, you know, like it's, it's the name of the game, taking calls, but agents, a lot of times, if there's a way to take less calls during the day, they're gonna find it, right? Um, so today I want to talk about call avoidance, uh, which leads to the metric is, is looking at the calls per hour. And there's a few other, uh, obviously, metrics that uh, I think today, today in today's you know, software, it's been updated. You can catch it a lot easier. But it was probably about six years ago that uh, you know, in our queue, for whatever reason, we were noticing that a, a couple of agents just, they consistently took less calls. Um, you know, their average handle time on the calls were the exact same as everybody else. We're, we're you know, you know, they're taking the same amount of calls and it's not like their average handle time was 20, 25 minutes, you know, way longer than the other agents um, that would make it so their calls per hour was lower, right? Um, but what was happening is we could pull on the back end. It was so it wasn't a metric that we could look at on the front, you know, visible dashboard on our ACD. It was something we had to pull uh, a customer report for was, but basically for lack of a better term, it was... Um, start stops, right? So we were on an old software where uh, we would, uh, a little box would pop up, right? Where, you know, it had your timer going. And just by simply click, you know, tapping, double tapping the space bar, you would stop and put yourself into an unavailable state. And within, you know, literally double tapping the, the, the uh, space bar, you'd go unavailable, available, and you'd the agents figured out that if you did that, um, if you had been waiting for a long time, you would automatically throw yourself back at the bottom of the queue, and so you would you would be at last in line to take phone calls. So, um, you know, there was a select few, and here's what's here's the disgusting part is, <coughs> um, I don't know how long I can't remember how long this had gone on for, but uh, we had found agents that were doing this, you know, 200 times a day. Right, 200 times a day, where if they were waiting for five, 10 minutes uh, in the queue, they knew that they were getting close, they would be the next in line to get a call. And so they would double tap that space bar and uh, within literally less than a second, right, they would be thrown back at the bottom of the queue and, uh, and pure call avoidance, right? So we quickly, quickly, um, you know, give them written warnings, uh, final notice on, on that because uh, big, big no-no, right? So one, one metric again. If you, if the, the start-stop report that we were able to pull, um, we we were able to see that. But then specifically, a, a good way to just to monitor that is just to make sure that uh, everybody's calls per hour uh, is in line, and just make sure that everybody's taking the same amount of calls that they should be, right? Um, if you're on outbound dialing campaigns or sales campaigns, calls per hour is typically a, a pretty common uh, metric that you can be looking at and that you should be monitoring, right, to make sure that, uh, you know, the agents are taking the desired number of phone calls per hour. Obviously, there's other metrics that feed into that uh, average handle time, you know, the longer they're spent on calls, the less time that they're uh, going to be available for uh, an actual call in the queue, right? So, um, again, uh, calls per hour, be looking at that call avoidance, um, you know, wrapping a little bit of wisdom into this uh, this episode of, uh, of Metric Monday, but, um, hope you guys have a great week. Started off strong. Again, check back uh, every Monday for more Metric Mondays. Uh, again, follow us on the social sites. We, you know, we look forward to hearing your feedback. If there's a metric that you're having uh, a struggle with, please feel free to reach out to us, ask us questions, uh, and that's where we'll, you know, we'll spin out more of these Metric Mondays, uh, specifically around the feedback uh, that we're getting. So we've already done some of those. So, anyways, callcentercrew.com/slash Metric Monday. Uh, stay tuned for more, guys. Thanks. Have a good week.